I guess I'll ask why, why did you also want to teach? I actually, my first job was as a high school teacher um, because I come from Ohio, college in Ohio, and there was no way you were going to convince your parents or anybody that like it was legitimate to think you'd get a job in television. Um, so I had to get a real, like get a degree in something real. So it was in high school and I taught literature and things like that for a couple of years until I could make the move to California and I could make it because you could teach in Ohio, you could teach here. So I could get a long distance job as a teacher, which gave me a financial way to make a move like that. Um, so I actually liked it. I missed it in a weird way. I mean, it certainly doesn't pay as much as TV, but there's a lot of things you do as a teacher. Um, there are skills you have. And a lot of that translates into writing in that and pitching because pitching is like I'm giving a lecture and explaining an idea to you to make you love it so much you'll pay me to do it. So that's a skill. That little performance thing comes from, from a teaching background. And I also think that television, particularly because it's, well, was free. And even if your parents are paying for it, essentially is free as opposed to movies, you have to fork over 20 bucks to go see them. So television is like this giant podium that a teacher would stand at and lecture. And a TV show and a movie, any, any piece of writing that's good, that sticks to you, has a message, is there with a theme about how you want other people to live their lives, a lesson that you wish other people would learn. So really, writing is like being a teacher on steroids. 